Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Well, it's Sunday again, and I have a few words to say. Um, these are little short snippets of what I, of the knowledge I have. I mean, I have accumulated over 30 years quite a bit of knowledge about DID. But today, uh, actually, I'm thinking about forming uh, recording classes. Um, let me know if you think I sh should do classes on DID and how all the knowledge I've accumulated. I mean, wow. I've been through therapy for a long, long time, and I've come a long, long way, and I'm hoping I can help other people. Anyway, today's topic is positive childhood experiences. Oh, yeah, I know. I gave you a gut reaction, didn't I? But actually, all of us experienced some good things in, in our childhood. I mean, it couldn't have been all bad or we wouldn't be here. Um, I'm not belittling the fact that we went through hell. I'm just saying that there are some positive experiences. For instance, for me, I had a Sunday school teacher when I was uh, probably 10 years old who believed in me and, and called on me to, to read in class and made me feel special. And I didn't have to pay for it, you know. I didn't have to uh, give my body away to get special attention. And then there was my uh, fourth grade teacher. She was a special person. I knew her until, even into adulthood, I knew her. Um, very intelligent, very, very bright, wonderful person. And had me for these two people, maybe I never would have known that I'm worthwhile and that I, I have, I have uh, a place in the world. Um, and if you can think of anybody, anybody, or any experiences you had, maybe it was a neighbor's wife or a neighbor uh, or the uh, another adult, some adult in your life that showed you positive reinforcement, showed you that you're worth worthwhile. All people really want, including children, is to be loved, to be respected, and to have dignity. And these people afforded me some love, respect, and dignity that I wasn't getting at home or, or with my abuser in uh, the nearby town. So think about that. Um, I know at first you're going to be like, oh, I didn't have any. All my experiences were bad. But that's not true. Um, and, you know, mainly the re main reason you may not remember anything good is because it's, it's trapped behind all the bad. I know when I would pull out a memory and work with it and waller with it and then put it in the past where it belongs, behind it would be a whole bunch of good stuff that I had totally forgotten because I had to forget it. I had to forget everything, good and bad, to survive. Um, so think about it. And work with it in your, with your therapist. Ask her about, ask her or him about it, and say, you know, are there such things as positive childhood experiences? Can it mitigate some of the damages that have been done to me by my abusers? The answer to both those questions is yes. So that's my talk for today, and I hope you all have a great week and enjoy the weather. Bye bye.